PHP 5.6 allows us to define a variadic function using the three dots operator. Here in this code, code sample we have the definition for the function func with uh, two parameters. The first is a parameter that must be assigned with a value. The second as, as a default value, which means this is an optional parameter, and the third will be assigned with um, the rest of the parameters that will be available as an array. The rest can be zero parameter, one parameter, or more, meaning that when we invoke func, we can either pass over just one value, in this case, optional parameter will be assigned with its default value x and the third parameter um, we can imagine it uh, be assigned with an array of uh, zero uh, elements here passing over uh, these two values then it is clear that required parameter and optional parameter are assigned with a and b while uh, the third parameter is assigned with an array with a uh, zero element. However, here in these cases, the third parameter, uh, we can imagine it um, as an array with uh, one, two, three, accordingly, elements. So, let's put these uh, three lines in the comment. Let's execute this code sample and the output just as expected. As you can see, uh, the first invocation optional parameter was assigned with its uh, default value x, and the third parameter is an array of uh, zero elements. When I pass over a and b, then optional parameter is assigned with b instead of the x default value and the third parameter is assigned with an array with uh, zero element. However, the three other invocations involve with passing over more than uh, two arguments, which means that the third uh, parameter will hold uh, an, an array of one or more. Uh, element and the output will be accordingly. The second function has one parameter marked with uh, the three dots operator, which means that when we call that function, its name is sum, If we pass over uh, one value, then numbers is assigned with uh, an array of uh, one element. If we pass over two values, then numbers is assigned with an array of two elements, and so on. We can also invoke some without passing over any value. In this case, numbers will be assigned with an array with uh, zero elements and the output will be accordingly it will be zero. Let's execute this function after the changes we introduced and the output just as expected.